Beerus's voice. So not them going to confirm or deny the theory known as the hypochlorite oxidation theory. Where we basically are oxidizing hypochlorite with a lead dioxide electrode, which should prevent chloride-mediated erosion, in theory at least. So let's see if it works, whether or not this is enough to protect against the, you know, essentially I'm going to be electrolyzing bleach instead of a salt water solution. I'm also going to mix extra salt into bleach just to, you know, add more chloride ions into it. And hopefully this works out. We're off to a great start already. We can see that there's no, like, brown cloud appearing over here. However, I think our titanium is forming hydrides. So I have to switch this out for a different electrode, probably something like steel. So I've changed the electrode. It still seems to be great. I've also added more sodium chloride for a saturated chloride solution. And yeah, the erosion is not bad at all. Like, when I ran this with, uh, you know, with different conditions, I got absolutely terrible, terrible rates. Like, I basically was getting turning in coffee brown right away this one is still not coffee brown and by those the, by the size of those bubbles this is indeed oxygen evolution i'm gonna probably swap this power supply with a beefier one or i might keep it because i'll be honest this is just a test then again i don't want to run six amps i can tell this thing is destined to run like 30 or something or 20 this is my crappier electrode, by the way, the one where I didn't even think it was going to work, so I coded it in super glue. You know what? I'm going to swap the electrodes. I'm going to run at high amps. Okay, our test setup is good to go. This is only making oxygen and hydrogen, so it's all good. There's no sign of brown color. And I'm going to increase the operating current density using this. You have to divide this number by 1.7, so it's running at 12-ish amps right now, is what I'd be guessing. Which I'm going to run at 20. I might as well run at 200 MACM squared. So, I'm running at around 200 milliamps per centimeter squared. I've set the current density correctly. And this is a bleach solution. As you can see, unlike the, uh, you know, the sodium chloride solution, where this would immediately turn brown... In this 54% efficient cell using bleach, it's not turning brown, which means that this is making chlorate. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run this at around 20 amps. This is 20. If you divide it by 1.43, which is the resistance of the shunt, this would be 20 amps. I think the reason why the, the current is jumping around might be because of the bad, bad, bad wires over here. I didn't even clap the anode. Who cares? Anyway, this electrode is going to run in this cell. And I'm going to keep feeding it sodium chloride. This will actually cause, cause uh, sodium uh, chlorate to eventually precipitate out of the cell. So I might actually rather run this because this, despite being less efficient, I don't have to worry about purification. And it does not seem to produce any brown. So yes, if you use bleach, Clorox bleach as an electrolyte, rather than using uh, pure water, then your, your lead dioxide electrode works just as great as uh, mixed metal oxide. 